In today's video, we're going to be unboxing the Mindful Souls box. I'm really excited for this one because why? Because you guys know, like if you watch my previous ones, they give the best jewelry pieces. I love their jewelry. Like, I cannot stop raving about their jewelry. So before we open this, I am going to let you guys know a few things about Mindful Souls. They are about $39 a month and they actually have an online boutique. I should put that down. Uh, they actually have an online boutique that you can, like anything you see in the box, you can go and grab it from their boutique. So if you don't like everything in the box, you can just go grab what you like or you can get the box itself. And I really, really enjoy their boxes. I love these boxes because they really do enhance my spirituality. If there's anything in this box that I don't really know or understand or familiar with or never heard of, it gives me something to do, something to research. And another reason I love unboxing these spiritual boxes, these little witchy boxes for you guys is because anything I know from the top of my head in these boxes that I can teach you guys right then and there, I feel like it's just quick knowledge I can just give to you right then and there. It's really fun for me. Um, so yeah, and also these are really, really good gift ideas. I'm telling you. So as soon as you open the box, this is what it looks like. Um, as you guys know, I talk about it in every single video, these little pouches, I use them. And I'm still uh, <laughs> drafting my video for how to use these box, these uh, pouches because I use them for so many things and I want to tell you guys like all the little, the little weird ways that I use them. So I'm still drafting that, but yeah, that's what it looks like. And then the Mindful Souls um, little postcard thing and then it has like everything that's on it on the back. I'm not going to read it. I'm not going to peek even though I want to. But you know what? These Mindful Souls logo things, the logo cards, they are so pretty that I like to put them everywhere. You cut them out, put them in your journal, cut it out, put it on your wall. Um, it's evil eye, it's protection, it has the lotus on it too. So growing amidst chaos and beauty and being protected while that happens. So after that, when you look in the box, this is what it looks like. By the way, do you guys like my setup here? Uh, my partner did this for me. I am aesthetically like the biggest idiot you will ever see. I cannot get things to match and look aesthetically pleasing. I, I'm a Libra, so I'm just like, does it look good? Does it not look good? Should I put it here? Should I not put it here? And that's how I make my decisions. Yes, no. Let me pause, let me wait on it, like, it's so bad. So he did this for me and let me know what you guys think. I really, really do love it. I love plants. Um, this is our ZZ plant right here. And then this we actually got at a yard sale. I don't know the name, but it's like a purple green house plant. Um, but I think you can also put it outdoors. It's so pretty, it's so pretty. We got it from a yard sale for like two bucks. We came home and we put it in different pots and then look at, look how you can revamp. Another person's trash can become your treasure. Remember that shorts that I did? Make sure you check out that shorts that I did. Um, anyways, I'm getting off topic. Okay, so the first thing I see here is this affirmation card and this affirmation card is affirmation for healing. I am healthy, healed, and whole. I really love these affirmation cards because uh, I get to put them on my fridge, my journal, my bathroom mirror. I'm working on the shorts to show you guys what that looks like uh, because I like to have good words and good things around me all the time. Sometimes you're brushing your teeth and you look in the mirror and then you start to criticize yourself. But if you're brushing your teeth and you got positive little affirmation cards all over, you start to pay attention to those and you look at yourself in a different light. You look at yourself in a very different reflection, right? So this is why I really, really love these affirmation cards. The next thing that I see here is a pouch. I love these pouches. This is really light because there's something really, really light in here. This is gorgeous. This, I told you, I told you the jewelry pieces. I told you guys. Look at this beautiful little new moon jasper necklace. This necklace is 
a symbol of new beginnings. It's a fresh start. It's made out of jasper, which is known to be a very valuable stone to cleanse negative energy, soothe your nerves, and to increase your focus, to increase change in your life. Look how beautiful. Remember I told you guys, I am obsessed with their jewelry pieces. It's so pretty. Look at this gold chain right here. I have never been a fan of Look at this gold chain right here. I've never really been a fan of gold, but ever since Goddess Provisions has been sending me their jewelry, I am now obsessed with gold jewelry and gold jewelry with crystal pieces on it. This is a very, very beautiful piece right here. Here's why. Um, I love whale's tooth. I love shark's tooth because my spirits are whales and sharks and crabs and they're from the ocean. Uh, and so this to me is very symbolic. I'm going to be offering this to my guides. Um, and this is what I do before every personal reading that I do for you guys, every private reading that I do for you guys. I kind of offer them something before I start the reading. And so this is going to go to them. How freaking pretty. You guys are going to see me wearing this. <laughs> so pretty. The next thing I see here is another pouch. And it's very light as well and it's a crystal and this is really pretty i don't know why i have this urge to smell it it matches my nails and i do not know what this is but it's very chalky um very very interesting color just like my nails so this crystal right here look at how it matches my nails you guys remember what i was telling you look it's like spot on i'm that is so cool. <laughs> but this is called a rough chrysocala. Chrysocala. And it's a stone for empowering feminine energy in men and women because it's deeply connected to the vibration of the earth. That's why it feels so chalky. It feels so earthy. Um, and it vibrates with the purest energy of love the color of the heart chakra green. It also opens up your throat chakra and it boosts clear communication and self-expression by drawing negativity from the body. So I would probably sleep with this crystal under my pillow. Whatever challenge you're facing, whether it's a breakup or a job loss, the stone calms emotion so you can heal and move on. Such a pretty stone. I love it. I am... I'm like hypnotized by the color because <laughs> look at that <laughs> look at that <laughs> here is that a good thumbnail shot oh yes right <laughs> such a pretty stone you guys very good energy that I feel from the stone as well next thing I see here is another baggie and inside it's a bracelet and in the oh my goodness this is freaking gorgeous this is so pretty oh my god you guys this is so pretty i might wear this on my feet and not take it off it's a little hamsa and it's red with gold all of it is just red and gold it's so pretty look at how cute look at how it sparkles look at the braid work and the back is just like that simple and plain and it's adjustable so you can adjust it to you know your hand but i really really like this because you can use this as an anklet which is probably what i'm going to be using it for you can also use this uh, around your candles around your beauty products around your water bottles i'm telling you around your water bottles okay <laughs> you can also use this as a keychain and it's the evil eye and it's red and it's the Hamsa hand, which is very, very good for protection, good health, wealth, protection of family and all of that stuff. It's so cute, so pretty. I'm very excited. I'm probably going to wear this as an anklet. Next thing I see is a very cute sticker and it's a little pug. It's a little pug that's like in meditation pose. I love these stickers because me and my partner love stickers. Like whenever my birthday comes, anniversary comes. Or sometimes just randomly he'll get me like a pack of stickers. He got me tarot card stickers, he got me cat stickers, and I love them. I love to put them on my notebooks, my planners, my journals, the fridge, 
it's just really fun. The doors, <laughs> sometimes the walls, your calendar. It's really fun and this is really cute. It might go on my fridge. How cute would this look in your journal, on your fridge, anywhere? How freaking cute is that? And it just exudes this energy of just calmness. And dogs are so energetic. Dogs are so chaotic sometimes. I know because I have a dog. I've had dogs all my life. They're so energetic. They're so chaotic. And so this to me is a very special because to see a dog that's in the meditative pose is like, oh yes, a calm dog. <laughs> Next thing I see here is a pretty fairly heavy bag. <laughs> what is this? So, okay, it's a crystal. It's big, you guys. Oh, this is big. I think this is fluorite. This is really pretty. As soon as I put it on my hands, my hands are very, very warm right now. As soon as I put it on my hands, it's cooling down all the nerves in my hand. Um, this is a really, really pretty crystal. It's And I'm fairly sure it's a fluorite. And I actually have fluorite crystals near my toothpaste and my toothbrushes in my bathroom. It just goes with my decor, so all the crystals there are all fluorite. So this is gonna go right there. <laughs> Look at how pretty this crystal is. It's a fluorite crystal, and fluorite crystals are very protective crystals, and it's very good to have in your workplace, and you know where your office is, where your desk is, to help you be more organized and focused and motivated and inspired. It's a very powerful crystal to ward off negative energy uh, that threatens your personal relationships. So this would be a really, really good one to have. I keep these in my bathroom. They just go with the theme of my bathroom. It's very mermaidy, <laughs> and I love it. It purifies your body and eliminates anything that's causing your body not to function properly. And it can bring a lot of calmness and relaxation. And I feel like it's just a lot of the colors of the ocean, the colors of the sea. It's just really calming. And also when you hold it in your hands, it's also very, very calming. The colors to me are very beautiful. These are like my favorite color combinations, blues and greens and purples. And I think it's because my spirits are from the ocean. And so it, I just really resonate with it. And it just makes me feel really at home and at peace. It's really, really pretty. Look at that. There's a lot of things in this bag, you guys, or not this bag, this box. There's a lot of things. Look at, I already unboxed one, two, three, four items. And there's one, two, three more items in here. That's a lot of things in this box. Get this box, you guys. This is a fairly heavy um, pouch too. And it's a crystal, it's an amethyst. Very, very beautiful, pretty amethyst. It's not just an amethyst. It's a magnet. There's a magnet on the back. I'm gonna put this on the mirror. I'm gonna put this on the mirror or the fridge. This is so freaking cute. Whoever, whoever thought of this, genius. I mean, I could DIY it too. Like, oh my goodness, freaking genius. I love this. I love it. I would get the box just for this. This made me so excited. Look at how this amethyst cluster glistens. I hope you guys can see it in the camera, but this is genius. Somebody put a magnet on top or behind an amethyst cluster. This is freaking genius. I love this idea. This is so cute. I'm very, very excited. This is gonna go either in my bathroom mirror or on my fridge, most likely on my fridge, so that all the food in my fridge is going to be nice and charged with this beautiful energy. And amethyst is really good for, you know, a lot of people who are uh, going through addictions, it's really good for that. It's also good for your thoughts, your mind, your crown chakra, um, you know, anxiety, frustration, stress, um, emotional, overstressed, overwhelmed, overworked, stuff like that. Amethyst is really good to have around you. Also, if you're having bad dreams, um, amethyst is really good if you're having trouble going to sleep stick this around your nightstand it's so cute I love this and whoever designed a magnet on the back wow that's freaking genius I love this the last pouch in the box there's one more item in here 
it came in a set of three. I'm very excited for that. Um, but the last, is it jewelry? Okay, yes, it's jewelry. I don't know what this is, but it is so pretty. I don't own anything like this, but this is right up my alley. This is exactly, <laughs> I dropped it. This is exactly the kind of jewelry that I love. Mismatched, weird, antique, gemstone, witchy, hippie-ish. I just love mismatched, weird things. This is right up my alley. Like, oh my goodness, it's so pretty. This is probably my favorite thing out of the entire box, you guys. I love this bracelet. I instantly felt a connection with this bracelet. There are seven chakra stones right there in the bracelet. So it's seven different stones to go with all seven of your chakras. And then the big, beautiful piece in the middle, it's an amethyst. I love this. It's perfect for aligning your chakras, making sure that you're grounded, well-balanced, emotionally, physically, mentally, all that stuff. This is so cute. I am in love with this. This is my most favorite thing in the entire box. And I'm going to actually offer this to one of my deities on my altar, and then I'm going to wear it after that. This is this is beautiful. This is this to me is my favorite. The last thing in the box. There's a there was a lot. Look look you guys. Look at the pack. Look. I got so many pouches. I love using this in the laundry. I'm telling you guys. Video coming soon. Video coming very soon. But it's Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. It smells really good. It smells really, really good. Whew. If I could bathe in it, if you, if you want to, you could actually throw an entire stick in your bath or light one while you're taking a bath. Um, I love Palo Santo. It's so it's it's such a gentle cleanser. It's like a it's like a grandpa energy. It's like a like a very fatherly masculine dad energy, but a very soft, gentle one. Like, you know, they're gonna they're gonna come clean and cleanse and purify everything in your life, but they're gonna do it gently, but they're gonna make sure you're safe. This is kinda how I feel with this um, Palo Santo. I've always felt that with Palo Santo. And what I really like is that, it, that they give you three sticks and they are pretty nice and fat and thick, which is really good. And they smell really, really good. These, look at how thick they are. Look at the thickness of these Palo Santo. They smell really, really good too. They're very good quality and I'm sure they're going to burn amazing. I'm going to be burning them today. I'm going to burn one today at least because one, like half of one stick lasts like half a day. Like that's all the burning that I need to do is just half a stick for one day. Um, so I'm just going to be burning one. That This is going to last me a really, really long time. And the fact that the sticks are so thick, they're going to last even more. And they smell really, really good. Uplifting. And Palo Santo is something that purifies, it cleanses, it helps you get rid of negative energy, but it's more gentle than sage. So, you know, it's not as harsh as sage. Sage gets rid of all of the energy in the home, but Palo Santo gets rid of just the negative energy and it also brings in some very nice, pleasant, sacred, very warm, like loving energy into your home too as it burns. So I love this. So that is it for the box. I'm actually very excited because I didn't just get all those things, but I got all these pouches <laughs> and I get to use them for so many things. I, every time I gift anything to my mom or to any family member or anything, I just give it to them in like, and I love gifting crystals or bracelets or like jewelry that I make. Things from my Etsy shop, I gift to my family members all the time. Um, I just feel like it's paying respect to my elders and gifting back to them something that I created from things that they, you know, they helped me grow and stuff. They helped, they helped nurture me. They helped feed me, even though, yeah, there was trauma, traumatic experiences. Sometimes there was like hard ups and downs, whatever the case may be. But those genuine family members that I really stick to, and there's only a few, <laughs> uh, but I gift them things from our shop, things that I see in the store, I'll buy it for them. If I buy myself something, I'll buy them the same exact thing. And for me, I love gifting it to them because we don't go anywhere, we don't really travel, so I just mail it to them. 
Um, but I like to gift it to them in these little bags and sometimes they give really big bags and small bags. I just, I love their bags. I find so many uses for them. You can keep your little incense cones in them. I'm not going to give away everything because I'm going to make a whole video about these little pouches. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. I hope you guys enjoyed. That was really fun. This is one of my favorite boxes too. Oh my God, the jewelry pieces were amazing. Get the box for the jewelry, you guys. The jewelry is insane. Uh, but yeah, it just gets me really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to check them out, I have a discount code too. If you guys want, go down below. And I will talk to you guys very, very soon.